Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Partington, one of the pediatric neurosurgeons at Gillette Children's Specialty Healthcare. In the last few days, we've had several questions from families and school districts about possible interactions between the Apple iPad 2 device and the programmable shunt valve that is implanted in many children, specifically the strata valve, which has felt to run the risk of being readjusted or reprogrammed by the iPad 2. Medtronic did address this in a widely circulated email, which can be found on the internet, and the key thing to stress is that they said it has a potential to, to affect the valve, but only if it is directly adjacent to the valve. An iPad 2 does not have a significant field strength around it as you get further away from it. A distance of two inches away from the, uh, from the device is probably safe enough, and six inches is certainly safe. Some schools have recommended to families that a child has to be four feet away from the device, at Gillette, we feel that the device is actually probably more beneficial from its academic and developmental benefit standpoint and would prefer that the child still use it rather than be kept at a large distance from it. Again, direct contact between the device and the valve is an issue. But that's also true of all other sources of magnetic fields, which includes most other electronic devices and household magnets as well. Remember, if you have any questions, contact the neurosurgery team about your child's shunt. But please feel free to use an iPad. It's probably good for them.